here at UVMS, we love doing things in the community, um, whether it be from Community Care Day to a community health fair, uh, it's kind of what we strive for. Recently, EVMS started uh, an organization called Beyond Clinic Walls. It's basically a group of students that go to retirement homes and just hang out with them for the day or for a few hours. And you have three years. I'm here too. <laughs> Today, myself, Vian Nguyen, and Nihan Kaya are going to go spend the afternoon with MJ. MJ is a 66 year old woman. Um, she's grown up in this uh, Hampton Roads area. She has children in the area, but doesn't get to see them mu that much. She's blind in both eyes, and uh, she has dentures. Oh. So yeah, everything so went well you. with your last dental appointment? Yeah, it did. Yeah. Now I just have to go and get the teeth. OK, OK. Mm -hmm. The final step, right? Yeah, that's the <laughs> final step. <laughs> MJ is always excited when we come over. It not only affects her day, but the weeks leading up to it. When we tell her we're going to come in a week, she's excited for the whole week, up leading up to the day that we come. And when we get there, she's just so happy. MJ's been a long fan of Asian food, so we decided today to bring sushi for her, because she really loves it. You have such a romantic voice. <laughs> Thank you. Man, I, need, I need to bring you out next time so you can tell it to your girls for me. <laughs> so MJ loves my voice. Uh, that's pretty much the only thing she can go off of because I did mention she was blind. Um, so every time I come over, she knows where I'm at, uh, loves to hear my voice, loves to hear me sing. So uh, she, I, it's always had a thrill for me to go over. <laughs> um, tell me. <laughs> We not only learn from her, but she learns from us. Um, we were teaching how to use chopsticks. Uh, she was teaching us the ways of the streets and Hampton Roads. Is he taking my picture? Do I want to have on some lipstick? <laughs> Just talking to her, listening to her stories, and her listening to our stories of how we grow up. Uh, it's great listening to her. We make these visits a couple times a month. Uh, a couple of us will go, or all three of us will go, or maybe just one of us will go, but we definitely try to be there at least two times a month. I'm having a party. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to set this in the kitchen? We're putting them in. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Do you want to join me? No, thank you. I'm on home work. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you too, Mr. Jones. Okay. All right, baby. Every so often when we're there, um, Meals on Wheels stops by and has home-cooked meals for five days, which MJ can just put in the microwave and heat up. So today there was a lot going on in MJ's apartment and her complex. <laughs> Me personally, you know, I have a grandmother who's in her upper 80s, and I know how lonely it can get for her. Um, so anytime I can give back to the elderly and just hang out with them, spend some time with them, uh, just for me, it does great wonders. And I hope, you know, when I get older, my grandkids or whoever will do the same for me. You know, just a simple thing is getting her outside for a few minutes, sitting on her, having her sit on a bench and talk. It's a highlight for us and her at the same time. <laughs> Where is it? Hint, hint, hint. <laughs>